My name's Tom, and I'm leaving the grind behind and hitting the road in search of adventure in my custom tiny studio on wheels. Welcome to Casa. Nowhere. Don't forget to subscribe. You wouldn't want to miss anything. Well, hello, Internet. I know, it has been a while. As you can see, I am on the move again, and I was really hoping to get this very special episode done before I hit the road, but I continue to overestimate my abilities. <laughs> Believe it or not, it has been one year since I started the YouTube channel, so I wanted to do an episode looking back at that, including a speed run through the entire custom cargo trailer camper conversion. Then at the end of the video, I will go over where I am and where I'm headed, and I am finally on the move for the near future. So let's go back. It was a strange time at the end of the health crisis just over a year ago. I had no truck. I had no trailer. There was no studio on wheels. It was a wonderful time to be buying things, but I was finally able to find a decent truck. Here she is. It is a Sierra 2500. It has leather seats, real nice radio, only 60,000 miles. And once I finally had the truck, I was able to search a bunch more haystacks and find the needle that was a suitable trailer. It was tall, it was the right length, and it was going to work for what I had in mind for the build out. With all that acquired, I left for Texas just after last Christmas to build the trailer out there in the relatively mild Texas winter. I was able to do my first ever stealth camp in a Walmart parking lot, but overall the trip was uneventful. I flew down so that I could ring in the new year in Texas, and I made it just in time. Just a few days after New Year's, I had the trailer cleaned out and was able to start taking down the walls and insulating. Oh, yeah. Another glove. With the insulation in, I tried out a layout. I taped it out on the floor of the trailer and gave everyone a preview. When you walk in the door here, to your right, that will be the desk. Straight in front of you when you walk in, there's gonna be a built-in love seat that will also pull out into an almost full-size couch or sectional. And right above it will be one window. This line here, the whole floor is gonna raise up one foot there. This little box here, that'll be a step. And then to the left will be the kitchen. I'll put the stove next to the door there. The sink is going to go right here with a window above it, which is nice if you can do it. And then it'll just be countertop, countertop, countertop. But then down here, this squared out part will be a couple drawers and then a small closet like the height of a long coat. This line here at the back, this is actually gonna be a wall. This area, I ordered a new double bed, a Casper. And then next to that will be the bathroom. I got a 24 by 36 inch RV shower. And then I got a nice porcelain Dometic commode that'll go around there. That is the layout and it's very exciting. This was very exciting for me because at that point I could see it, although I was probably the only one. But once I had a plan, it was time to get to work and work began by installing the holding tanks so that I could build out the raised floor above them. I also installed the freshwater tank so I could begin building the desk area here. With the fresh water and holding tanks in place, I began working on the solar and the electrical systems. And then framing out the shower in the bathroom. 
This allowed me to finish up the drain plumbing to the tanks. This looks like it took no time at all, but in reality, this took till about the second week in March. I had certainly been very optimistic with my goal of being done in time to make it out to Arizona for the end of the 2022 winter season, but there was still quite a bit to do. So we began working on the cabinetry and finishing up a lot of the electrical. Then I got to work finishing the bathroom. and started on the kitchen cabinets. This is when I had the biggest setback of the build, when I cut my finger. Uh, cut my finger on the table saw. <laughs> really doesn't look too bad, just the tip. Luckily, this has all but healed. If I didn't say anything, you probably wouldn't notice, but on a close inspection, you can see that my left index finger is a little flat on the tip. <laughs> and that's probably not coming back, but this could have been so much worse. If you're ever working with a power saw, don't be in a hurry. Don't take any shortcuts. It has the power to change your life, but again, almost perfect, thankfully. Did set me back a few weeks. After that, I was able to get back to the build, installing the flooring, and coming up with a technique to finish the textured wallboard I was using. If you look at it real close, you can definitely see it, but once it was trim was up and the furnishings were up, it doesn't stand out at all. I am unhappy that it worked out so well. So I moved on to installing the plumbing fixtures, the shower curtain, installed the toilet flange for the commode, and test fit the commode. And by now, it was getting pretty warm here in Texas. So I jumped ahead and installed that false back wall on the back of the trailer so that I could get the air conditioner working. That's the holy grail, solar running an air conditioner. I'm stoked, that's awesome. Pretty sweet. With the trailer a little bit cooler, jumped right ahead to working on the feed plumbing, mounting the water heater, the water pump, and then tying all that in. Hell yeah, we have running water. That was another exciting day. At this point, things were moving pretty quickly and all the groundwork of building the systems was starting to fall together and we could see them in action. The next thing on the list, I installed the diesel heater and was able to finish up the garage and bed platform. This is also when Kenny, Kenny Powers, showed up. He was definitely very skittish at this point, but as I say, things were coming together quickly and the next thing on the list was putting the max air fan into the roof and finishing the ceiling. Then more spackle and more paint. But by now Kenny was warm enough to us just a little bit. He still wouldn't let us handle them. So I put in the rest of the flooring. Finished the cabinet doors, installed the kitchen counters and the kitchen sink. Finally tied in all the rest of the systems, the switches for the 12 volt electricity and the tank monitor for the holding tanks. At this point, we're really getting close. Installed the trim and put in the love seat futon. I installed the new bed, installed the acoustic treatment here behind the desk. This is when it really hit me. So I just finished getting the whole workstation set up. It sounds awesome, it sounds amazing. This was amazing because I really designed the whole trailer with acoustics in mind and this was when I got to hear how well I had done and I was blown away. It sounds great in here. At this point we were almost done but I did one more thing, I built an awning for the back of the trailer and that was a wrap, done ski, and just in time. When I came down to Texas, I knew I had some commitments in the fall in Pennsylvania that when I made the commitments, I assumed I was gonna be done the trailer, you know, by March, and by August, I would have been a well-seasoned road dog. <laughs> but no, it was a rush to get done just so that I could get up 
for a family camping trip, a wedding, helping my buddy with a house he was flipping, and the holidays, etc. I'm not gonna bore you by rehashing the most recent videos. Instead, let's look forward. We are finally at stage three of my original plan to get a truck and trailer, build it out into a camper, and travel around in the camper. And this is somewhat underway already. I was able to, with a lot of work, dig my trailer out of the snow in the Poconos. And believe it or not, I am in Texas, gearing up to head to Arizona. Within days, I should be hitting the road for a good long little run. And that is very exciting. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you for watching and have a good one. If you made it this far, why not go ahead and hit that like button? I sure would appreciate it.